All right, so we'll start with um, just kind of going through the buttons on the top here and the different tools that are available to you. Um, so this first one is just the symbol tool and it opens up um, the symbols um, search bar here on the right. Um, so the next one is just your pointer tool and it just allows you to be, uh, to be able to select buttons on your pages. Um, so that's pretty much it for that tool. Um, the next one is your button tool. So we'll spend some time here on how to create a button. So um, go ahead and click it. And then um, if you can see these rulers on the top of the page here and on the side, um, these are true to actual inches. So if you create, um, so I'm gonna line up the red lines with the black lines, and I'm gonna create a two by two button here. So when you print this out, this should actually be two inches by two inches. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move that to the side here just to kind of, um, just to keep it there. So um, we'll start with how to put a symbol in the button. So there's two different ways to do that. So you can either click right on the button and start typing and click enter. And it opens up this window of all of these um, symbols that are related to the word cat. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this first, uh, the second one here. And I'm gonna click okay or select. And there's my um, symbol. Um, I'm gonna create a different button just to show you the second way that we can put a symbol in a button. Um, so if we go ahead on this right side where it says symbols, again, you can either access it by clicking one of these tabs or you can click this symbol tool button that we saw in the toolbar here. I'm gonna go ahead and search for dog. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the one that I want by uh, clicking, holding, and then moving over to the button. So I'm gonna click and then, sorry, click and hold and move the symbol into the button. And then you'll see that green highlight um, on the outside of the box. And that's how I know it's gonna go into the button. And there you go. So there's two different ways to put a symbol in a button. Um, and it makes it uh, just kind of easy, uh, whichever way that you wanna do it. 